the extension of long-term unemployment benefits, it's basically for people who have been unemployed for six months or more. Uh, in the states, they can get up to a combined state and federal uh, unemployment benefits. They could get up to 73 weeks, close to a year and a half. Where do you stand on that? Well, two things. One, let's be clear. The reason why the White House is so actively pushing this is they want to desperately talk about anything but Obamacare. The best thing we could do to help people who are unemployed or underemployed is fix Obamacare, replace it with a patient-centered plan that put people in charge, not the government in charge, and got rid of the uncertainty that so many small businesses here in my state and across the country talk about. But to the specific benefits, to me, any discussion about this should be focused on what sort of reforms are we going to put in place you know, uh, he talked earlier in the previous segment about people looking for work. Well, the federal government doesn't require a lot. We just made a change last year so that people had to look five times or more a week for work. Without our requirement change, they could go as little as two times a week. I, I don't know about you, Candy, but if I was out of work, I'd be looking more than twice a week for a job. I'd be looking for every day except maybe today I'd take Sunday off to go to church and pray that I could find a job on Monday. But I think there need to be reforms in that system. I also think Wisconsin's one of the few states in America that just changed things so that adults without kids looking for work now have to be enrolled in one of our employment training programs.